Good morning. My name is Mary O'Brien and I'm a member of the Oblate Lourdes pilgrimage team. So welcome to our morning prayer. And as we gather for prayer, let us call to mind all those for whom we wish to pray and all those others who have asked us for prayers for themselves or for, for, for other people. We place all these prayers, all our hopes and wishes for this day in the loving hand of God. We begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's pray together the Our Father to start. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our gospel this morning is from St. Matthew. It's chapter 22, verses 34 to 40. When the Pharisees heard that he had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together and one of them, an expert in the law, asked him a question to test him. Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the greatest and first commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbour as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. For these morning's prayers, we're asked to reflect on the gospel of the day. And this gospel, today's gospel, is one where it hardly seems necessary to say more than the words you've just heard. Our actions, our words, our prayers. I believe this is how we show that we love God. Loving God calls us to action. We can't hold it secretly within ourselves. We must reach out beyond ourselves. That reaching out can be in prayer. I thought I, I, I'd read this morning St. Uh, John, John O'Donoghue's Friendship Blessing. May you be blessed with good friends. May you learn to be a good friend to yourself. May you be able to journey to that place in your soul where there is great love, warmth, feeling and forgiveness. May this change you. May it transfigure that which is negative, distant or cold in you. May you be brought into the real passion, kinship and affinity of belonging. May you treasure your friends. May you be good to them and may you be there for them. May they bring you all the blessings, challenges, truth and light that you need for your friend and for your journey, sorry. May you never be isolated, but may you always be in the gentle nest of belonging with your Anamkara. And for those who don't know the Gaelic-Irish language, Anamkara means soul friend. And just think of that few words and say, being blessed with good friends. Jesus, God is our good friend. So we're asking that he transfigure us. That with him in us, we, we, may, we may have all these blessings. May he brings us these truths and challenges in our daily lives. And at the end of it all, from me, may you know that you are always held lovingly in the hand and heart of God. 
in the gentle nest of belonging with your God. So let's join Mary to our prayer as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. So thank you for joining me this morning. May you have a good day. May God bless us all and keep us safe this day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.